Hello students and friends. Welcome back to my session on SOLIDWORKS in 21 days. We are on day 9. In today's session, we will see about more on sketches, different sketch tools and uh, use of text in making a part and import the drawing file drawn in AutoCAD to our SOLIDWORKS. Okay. See, some sketches are very difficult to draw in uh, uh, SOLIDWORKS. I can't say you, you, you are not able to draw it, but it will take some more time. It will be difficult. So, in AutoCAD, it will be easy for drafting and drawing anything. So, get it from that, then you can use it in uh, SOLIDWORKS actually. Okay. You will see all those things. Then, uh, for that, we will solve these three exercises more on sketch tools, inserting text, importing AutoCAD drawing file as sketch for developing a part. So throughout my session, I will be concentrating mostly or only on the solid model. I will not be touching the uh, surface modeling actually. Surface modeling in SOLIDWORKS is also a most powerful software. Uh, this is most more powerful software even for the surface modeling. I will not be touching on touching upon the the surface modeling actually I will be concentrating one and only on solid modeling after creating solid models as part files so last two sessions we we you saw about uh, the the assembly of it okay now we will see that now okay as usual let me close this one file new part plain white uh, what is the exercise now more on sketches right more on sketches exercise number 14 so uh, let me draw a rectangle a center line this and this by pressing and holding control key I can select both I can go for multiple selection the midpoint this may be 60 this may be 40 uh, let it be 30 Okay, 45 90 half of it this is 90 this is 45 uh, some subscribers asked me about uh, how to use the equation okay now equation can be added in the sketch in the feature in the whole part even in the assembly also but I even I haven't tried in the assembly actually but I accept assembly I tried in all the things okay uh, because of the subscribers wish I will be adding this one now here go to tools equation add equation this is equal to this one divided by 2 here I will be typing slash means divided by 2 that is it press ok now you see I cannot uh, edit this as a value rather I can edit this as an equation now if you see so this is an equation now how to uh, now let me tell you okay now I'll, let me change this to 60 if this is 60 what is this one 60 by 2 30 you see this will be changed automatically half of it half of it suppose say two third of uh, this one means uh, two into two divided by three that is two third of uh, this one means 60 now what is a now instead of 45 it is 60 now I edited the equation I cannot edit this as the value okay so this is how you can use the equation 
okay this equation information is available in the design tree this is the in the design tree you see this is the tab right click manage equation manage equation so you can edit here also or if you don't want this equation okay manage equation you can just delete it so let, let me delete it I'll show this also I think it is deleted chips yeah it is deleted actually all right you can delete if you delete that line you see that uh, equation is tab is also not available there so you can have any number of equation okay then uh, you can add uh, some things some uh, you can do something whatever you want actually right okay now I said more sketch tools right go to tools you see what are the different sketch entities available and what are the different sketch tools available here now sketch entities we have seen how to draw a line rectangle different types of rectangles you try by yourself the slot also we have seen polygon right from triangle square pentagon hexagon you can go any number circle different type arcs different type ellipse also sometime i tried uh, partial ellipse i didn't try parabola you can try by yourself parabola conic uh, splines style splines uh, equation driven curve i haven't tried there is no necessity for me point we have seen already centers center line means it is a it is construction line type it is not the object line okay text we will see in the next uh, lesson in the same session okay these are the sketch entities available we have tried almost 90 uh, percent of it except the parabola hyperbola and all the sketch tools we will see the fillet filleting the sketch chamfering the sketch offset entity convert entity we have seen okay now we will see the fillet first so this is the command here you have sketch fillet sketch chamfer fillet the fillet radius let it be 5 in my case I am filleting fillet uh, chamfer and all it is mainly to avoid the sharp corners F the difference between a fillet and uh, chamfer is fillet means you have a curve you have a curve chamfer means a straight line between these two points that's it press ok that's it ok so fillet is over suppose if you want to increase the radius press ok suppose if you want to increase the radius you can change the radius escape or without escape you can extrude 5 let it be 5 this time let me have a different color only for visualization purpose okay so that's it now I want to add another now we saw the sketch uh, sketch entity called the fillet you try for the chamfer okay because you should try something it is not a difficult thing you can try let me add another sketch one over this one so I'm going for the sketch again so this is my sketch plane now this is my sketch plane now previously this was the sketch plane previously this was the sketch plane for this feature for now I am inside the sketch for this this is the, uh, this is the sketch plane now reference sometime we call reference plane datum plane sketch plane all are one the same let me again sh tell show you the convert entities it is to get the projection out of it uh, now I clicked the face press ok now you see I obtained all those uh, the, the full boundary lines and arcs you know those things 
obtained actually okay now i want to convert everything into construction line type so i am selecting all okay so before that let me tell you again so actually okay if this view it is the 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 shaded view you can see all this you see the you see the curve it is obtained under the convert entities it is obtained under the convert entities now these are the object line type continuous line type so that means it is object i don't want that as object that means i select i selected all then i typed this now it is a construction line type now you see that this view you can see it is not object line it is a chain line it is a construction line normal to curve okay now again i am selecting all why because i am doing all these things you know i have to do i have to show you the other opportunities that other options you have sketch options you use the offset entity now i want to for to teach you about offset entity only i did all these things now i am clicking offset entities now it is going offset outside i want this to be inside uh, maybe 8 mm because the fillet radius is 10 you know uh, uh that means you get a sharp corner uh, so let it be 5 offset distance inside reverse reverse now you see the offset distance is 5 the offset distance is 5 if you want you can change it offset distance instead of 5 you put a 6 this will be like this so the convert entity is uh, one uh, uh, important thing actually mm okay so uh, this time i want to have a taper uh, extrusion a taper angle is maybe 10 degrees the height is say 10 mm 10 degrees now it is a tapered one you see the taper okay mm, what are the other things available here check it okay now i just want to draw some more some more i want to this time i want to scribble something now i am using a line command the single line command can be used as a line as well as arc now i'll show you the i am inside the line now a line is marked again it starts i am drawing all the entities by continuous uh, line segments now again you see that i am not clicking now i am just going back again i am coming you see uh the the line has become a arc now automatically so from here you can draw a line again if you touch it it becomes arc press escape it is a open profile now between these two i want to do some fillet that is also possible five filleted filleted okay extrude for 10 mm without any draft now for better understanding the curve entities i want to have a sketch plane from here at a height at an angle of 45 degrees okay this one uh this one about this edge at an angle 45 degree you see with respect to this face with respect to this edge at an angle 45 degree 
I created a face. Press OK. Then parallel to this, at a distance of maybe say uh, 50 mm, I want a parallel plane here. Okay, again I'm creating again a new reference plane parallel to this, parallel to this, not at a height of 10, at the height of 50. At the height of 50. Press OK. Now you see, now I created two reference planes, reference plane 1, reference plane 2. Now I want to draw something on this. Okay, before that I have to get a projection of this one. Okay. Now for that again I tell you the top view of this plane is this way. About this one if you see this one it will be shrink, it will be shrunk. For better understanding again uh, let me increase the angle from 45 to 60. Forty-five to sixty. Okay, so now on this plane, I just want to. I wanted to draw something. Let me get a. Now I am inside the sketch plane two. I am in plane two. Okay, let me go back. It will be confusing for you. I select plane two here, and I go for sketch here. Now I am inside the sketch. I am inside the sketch plane. Now convert entity get the projection of this one onto this particular plane select this plane press ok now you obtained now you obtained now actually it is a, a height is slightly higher it is I, this is actual height it is reduced because it is tilted now if you see that now you see that everything is matching okay uh, now let me go for extra the boss extrude opposite side up to next up to next is nothing but this one see that okay let me switch off the planes visibility Okay, so now let me roll back. You see the area. Since it is angled, the area is thin, but of course I got the projection. If you are able to understand, it is well and good. Otherwise, don't worry. Solve some more problems, simple, simple problems. You will come to know more about all these things. What is this exercise? exercise number 14 exercise number 14 okay we'll I'll draw some more thing here now I'm about to draw something on this plane this time the spline okay so this is the spline curve then you can uh, these are the key points with that you can you can alter by just uh, clicking and dragging you can do some changes you can do some changes special profiles you can get it so this is about splines maybe extrusion for 5 mm okay so what are the other options you have there are many there are many here also the in the feature you have we have we saw about uh, linear circular pattern these are for the features for the solid objects you have the same thing here also 
you have same things here also the linear circular pattern and all shall we see that also okay so this side let me draw small small things be some elliptical a small elliptical thing let me select this one this me select this sketch okay then this is the linear pattern you see already x axis even y axis means you can choose y axis also here the x axis mm. distance is uh, instead of 10 mm let it be 4 mm see what happens then number of instances maybe 5 so 5 instances on x axis on y axis only 2 instances maybe direction to I selected uh, this one okay this uh, direction to I'm not able to select now I do not know why okay don't let us don't waste our time okay we'll see it later okay oh instances two yeah yeah instant there is only one right so the distance is just 2 mm 2 mm on the x axis that's it why oh, it has gone linear pattern 5 5 times on z y axis two times uh, maybe 5 mm 5 mm is not yeah okay crossing press ok yeah I got it so this is the linear pattern the subtler pattern and all you need a center point okay so just uh, 3 mm or I instead instead of uh, going for uh, boss extrude I can go for cut extrude cut extrude means I will be getting a hole elliptical hole so a hole I got it ok so subtler pattern this time I select this one this face uh, let me see let me put a point first then uh, a slot this time I'm going for subtler pattern it asks for the center point let me choose the center point oh it considers the origin subtler pattern reverse direction what is this Entity distribute pattern. Yeah, now I got it. This is the center with respect to center. Maybe equal spacing four instead of four instances, maybe five instances. Okay. I got it. X should for three mm or four mm, whatever it be. So I got here. 
so like that you have uh, still there are many still there are many so the rotate scale instead of using it but i my advice is better you use uh, erase and uh, uh, redo it instead of going for move rotate scale and all instead of copying you have uh, 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 linear pattern you can use the pattern instead of copy so there are many commands but still with the minimal command we can do lot of things actually right you see here except parabola conic and all i i did almost all the things almost all the things okay some we leave it as such for time being we'll see it later okay now more on sketch tools is over now okay then inserting texts for that let me use uh, a separate uh, drawing let me close this one new file exercise number 14 text again as usual a rectangular box uh, i'll be putting normal to curve center line i want to keep it as a midpoint okay let it be 120 let it be 60 let the slab height be 100 uh, sorry 10 let me change the color for visualization purpose now i want to write some text on this for that text is a sketch of course now this is the text hello so if i click here now we are inside the inside the sketch inside the sketch inside a dialog box called the text right so hello now you can these are some of the options available okay if you want the default font you can override you can choose the font i normally choose a font either arial or arial round mt choice is yours right you can choose any font of course uh, instead of 10 point, uh, 30 points let's me say so it is a you can choose any font let me say okay let me show you let me show you so britannic so this is britannic font okay so arial round empty only i mostly choose it is bold italic that is oblique point is 10 30 points okay hello okay uh, just one am thick so a text is made if you want this alone to be different color for visualization purpose select this alone go for color you can keep that alone in a different color so then the look will be different it is only for the visualization purpose in actual this won't serve any purpose actually okay mm, next time we'll see or color the text again a separate uh, sketch so this is one feature now boss extrude is one feature boss extrude 2 is a feature that has only text now again i am choosing the same surface i am drawing another sketch this time i will be drawing an arc i i want to keep that as a construction line type so it is a it is not a object line it is a construction line 
if both are horizontal means you will get a somewhat nice picture okay so now before pressing the text let me select the arc first after that let me go for text that means you see arc aligned text same hello or we'll type a different thing a b c d a b c d okay now this i want it to be on center if you want lower it can be lower mirror normal okay we'll this time we'll see a, a easy, let, let us use a different font okay times new roman uh, bold a point uh, maybe say 40 let's see what happens good so let it be 35 or 34 okay now it is a arc line text this time i want to cut it so cut extrude maybe 1 mm so this is the projection because it is bus extrude it is a cut extrude we will have it in a different color so material is added here material is removed here ABCD uh, so one more thing here if you use some special fonts suppose if these these are the lines and dark segments so if it cross this side then uh, you, it is not uh, closed profile it will become a crossed profile in those occasions you may not get a text as feature you may not get okay so that time uh, you may, may either you have to go for uh, some other font or you have to do some editing in the font itself okay now uh, we'll see something more on it this time i just wanted to draw a spherical thing let, let me put uh, the diameter as 40 okay uh, whose height may be 20 mm now i i actually i made one cylindrical object okay now tangent to it i want to create a, a plane so let me select this one okay so already a plane is created yeah it requires one more uh, reference so parallel maybe a plane is created tangent to this circular surface parallel to this surface a datum plane or a refer new reference plane is created because I want to draw something here. Now a plane is created here. Okay. Now I, I am selecting a plane. I am going for sketch. Okay. Now before that, let me tell you convert entities. sorry convert entities this one and this one both the top and bottom edges you see that convert entity the diameter line i think you'll, you'll you can learn you can understand more about convert entities now so this if we if we see the circle this top face as a line in this particular view this particular view so that is the power of convert entities okay so i got these two 
I want I don't want this as a line but uh, I want to convert this as a construction type let me draw a diagonal line I'll tell you why I am doing all these things then on the midpoint I want to mark the point here this is one way there is another way also okay so this is at the midpoint of this one with respect to midpoint <coughs> I just uh, want to draw the straight method is let me erase these things so again the line is marked let me draw a line midpoint of that line this midpoint must be coinciding of this line coincident okay okay let it be so this this is a line the this is the point on this particular line first that is on the midpoint of this line and that point is coinciding on this also so it will can slide somewhere here the line can move only this way but at the same time the point will be sliding okay so let me switch off uh, the plane visibility why I am doing all these things you know what is the diameter of this one 40 if they, this is diameter of 40 what is the perimeter circumference pi d pi 40 is 125.66 okay so I let it be I want this to be 120 125 or something you know let this be 120 uh, some distance maybe now it is fully defined 4 mm above or 3 mm above okay now I want to uh, align aligning with this line I want to draw a text here a b c d uh, this is to be center of course yeah it is on the center only yeah anything 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 you can do anything you can type okay let me choose a uh, aerial a normal aerial font or calibri font calibri bold the point is maybe 20 let's say what happens oh it comes up to y only uh, that means uh, let me reduce that to 16 uh, let me increase slightly 18 you see there's a gap should be made and if it crossing you will not get the thing okay why I am doing all these things it will be confusing now for you okay so I want to sh show you one thing okay so that is why I am doing all these things now you see up this a b c d f g h is uh, wrapped over this uh, circumference of the circle uh, circumference of the cylinder so that is my objective actually okay now let it be as such let me try yeah wrap text I am selecting the sketch and the surface the face and the text sketch phase is the text this face is the plane plane of wrapper wrapping there are three options emboss deboss scribe okay scribe means only a scribble emboss means projection deboss means cut it is emboss means something similar to uh, boss extrude deboss cut extrude how much distance maybe 1 mm you see what happens
it will take some time you see the entire text is wrapped the entire text is wrapped again I repeat for that what I did was after drawing as uh, this cylinder I created a plane tangent to it okay then I measured the circumference the circum the diameter is 40 circumference is 125 but I used 120 of course so I, I have drawn a 120 line here if you want you can write this can be 125.6 okay so I, I have drawn the text then there is a command called wrap okay this using the wrap I wrapped as emboss this holds good not only for the uh, text also for uh, uh, some uh, scribblings also some some designs also i will show you that, that also i am selecting another uh, uh, i am drawing another sketch choosing the same plane choosing the same plane mm. let me scribble something I just, I just scribbled something okay now escape go for wrap insert feature wrap select the surface okay what i can do is i can select this one surface and this sketch oh let me exit from the sketch i exit from the sketch insert feature wrap a plane or plan which has to be close to contours isn't it a close contour let me choose uh, this and this surface let me go for feature wrap wrap feature selecting exists create a new sketch is selecting a plane or planar face let me edit uh, this again uh, yeah everything is clear everything is perfect i feel yeah, everything is perfect then why it is not coming feature wrap and exist sketch uh, select a plane on which to sketch closed contours Okay, select a plane now I'm going for wrap for wrap feature select an existing sketch or create a new sketch by selecting a plane or planar feature okay this surface this plane insert feature wrap for wrap feature selecting select an exit and uh, create a new sketch by selecting a plane or a planar face let me choose a plane oh probably let me suppress let me first suppress this one time being then let me choose this surface and this one let me try unsuppress okay 
okay so i'll 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 tell you later okay so instead i can do like here itself okay uh, let me complete uh, some more uh, thing okay we'll see it again maybe in the next session so here uh, this can be wrapped not only in the cylindrical surface also on the conical surface also so convert entities extrude taper 30 degrees maybe a conical structure i we made now create a sketch plane this one i think that itself will do suppose okay it requires some more component right parallel create a plane okay let it be as such so here is a plane i want to draw a sketch this time i have drawn a ellipse i want to wrap it onto the instead of text i want to wrap this one now okay so i selected already sketch is selected i am selecting this surface go for feature go for wrap feature wrap wrap feature select an existing sketch or create a new sketch selecting the plane or plane of surface Oh, on the plane, I am. I am. I have been asked to draw something, right? Okay, let me draw again. Once again, a new sketch. Escape uh, on this surface. okay so one demo this time it is deboss yeah let me erase this one previous ellipse okay now you see i have drawn something you know the wrap i have scribbled something you know this is the sketch okay we will see let me put some more holes here some ellipse here those things also be printed as deboss so you can have any design you can have any design i think the same way only you have to do suppose here right so you have seen uh, what is this file sketch uh, x size 15 x size 15 we we saw the sketch inserting text um wrap command also we have saw okay the wrap has got two options emboss deboss emboss deboss okay so this is the file for that one let me close this one uh we'll see the 
another one how to import AutoCAD drawing files uh, as a sketch now yeah, I opened uh, let me delete this one this is the AutoCAD actually I opened now in the Google I searched for hand clip art let me choose this one okay so copy image now I am in the AutoCAD I am inside the AutoCAD okay let me draw let me trace let me trace I am a bit faster okay so if you sp spend some time this will be proper okay my tracing is not that good but uh, I don't want to waste uh, much of our time that is why I am speeding up okay so you can be bit slower close here is this one now let us say this is a hand symbol I want to copy it uh, let me open a temp file again I repeat I was bit faster okay because I, I, I don't want to waste our time so escape now let us open a drawing file you can open a drawing file okay instead of going for new open I uh, will be opening a drawing file DWG is the extension let me open then after choosing that so temp it has been stored as temp file okay now I want to uh, import that as a part under the part as a 2d sketch it is in mm by default it will be on inches change that to mm okay finish that's all that's all Ex uh, emboss uh, that is a uh, boss extrude just uh, maybe 2 mm or 3 mm a hand symbol is made a hand symbol is made ok so if your uh, sketch is finer you will get a fine picture fine image here so that way you can use uh, le let me close this one or uh, I, I want this to be importing AutoCAD drawing for sketch you know so this is our sketch of course okay I, I let me just uh, save it as exercise number 16 exercise number 16 Let me close this one. What is this tie? Now, suppose say these are some of the symbols that uh, let us see what happens. Control C, temp. Let me erase these things. I saved this, I closed it. Now, open. drawing file in millimeters finish or ok so you obtained the symbol so you can create a logo ok so again uh, these extensions let me erase
sorry. We let me erase these things. Uh, extension it allows for selected contours. I select this contour, this contour, this contour, this contour. Okay, uh, maybe three mm. You can go bit by bit. Some logos. Okay, you can get the logo from the net from the clip art or something okay take it either here or even in a solid to it is possible but uh, autocad is somewhat a uh, bit easier right so have this as a sketch uh, import uh, open that sketch uh, as a uh, uh, pot file in the uh, uh, solid works actually okay i don't want to save it finally let me i'll tell you this one this is a very beautiful picture Let me trace this one. I just wanted to copy it in the temporary file. Let me save and close. Let me open. Even it can be star dot star or drawing file. Drawing file is here actually. Open. Next millimeters finish ten now it, it asks for the contour let me select the inner profile it will take some time not this contour So this is the profile this is the profile that you get i should get a whole slot here actually okay anyway so this is a plain white so this is how you can get it. you see how precise it is so these things uh, sometime i'm not saying it is not possible it is difficult in solidworks but something uh, uh, sketches are very easily can be drawn traced in autocad so draw so those sketches in autocad you can bring it that into solidworks as sketch or a part file okay so in today's session we saw about more on sketches sketch tools text import from autocad okay these files are available in the link provided in the description okay so if you like it subscribe my channel i hope you already subscribed it please inform this information to other friends and students so then they will also get some benefit through my sessions especially on solidworks okay thank you